Right now, wind chill warnings are in effect for much of the Midwest. Temperatures plunging below zero. This is a look at Duluth, Minnesota. The air temperature is minus 13 with a wind chill of minus 30. And I believe we're checking in with Gerard right now because he is the man of the hour. Hello. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Not a lot of people happy with me this morning, Adrian, with it being this cold. It's going to be tough for people to step outside. Now I have to talk about the next thing that's on the menu here. As we move later into the week, uh, it's closer to the weekend, we're going to be tracking a pretty major system that's going to be impacting a lot of these coasts. We're talking about a significant nor'easter. Saturday into Sunday, most likely, but we could see impacts beginning as early as Monday. High confidence that's going to be hitting the New England states. Let me show you just an example of one of these models of what it could do. As it develops off the Carolinas, it is just going to explode in intensity. We're going to be seeing a lot of powerful winds, a lot of moisture going in with this cold air that's in place is going to mean a ton of snow could get dumped out there. Impacts will be felt, but it's going to be highly dependent on the strength of the system and the track that it takes. There's still some uncertainty here. So for example, if it takes a little bit tr uh, further to track to the east, okay, this is scenario one, it still would mean incredibly heavy snow across places like Boston. We're talking over a foot or more. But if that track just moves a little bit further west, it could mean heavier snow hitting places like New York, coastal places like into Delaware, Maryland. It would be a much more impactful system. We have to watch carefully. Small changes can make big differences here. And uh, well, we'll be watching very closely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.